Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Tightly Packed by Wushul. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules. That means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. Uh, we also have anti-knight. Don't forget about the anti-knight, it's important. Um, so let's, let's demonstrate what that means. So these two uh, cells are a knight's move apart. We're talking about like a chess knight. So a chess knight can move two in one direction and one in another. So it kind of jumps, right? So for example, these two are, are a knight's move apart. And any two cells that are a knight's move apart may not contain the same digit. This is disallowed because these are two ones that are knights move apart. This can be anything other than one, but it can't be a one. And so if we think about this cell here, uh, this green cell here, um, I will highlight all of the cells that are knights move apart, just so that we're on the same page. These are all, all the purples are knights move apart from green, so none of the purples may be the same digit as green. So if green's a two, none of the purples may be a two. Um, all right, and in addition to knights move, we have arrows in the grid. So there's a circle with arrows coming out. The digits on an arrow sum to the value in the circle. So if this was 1 and 3, those add to 4, this would be a 4. Um, finally, uh, we have this one dark circle, in, uh, this one gray circle here. Um, that's an odd digit. So this digit must be odd, can't be even. And that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, my eye is drawn actually to box one here, because in box one, um, yeah, we need to place a six. And we, we're never going to be able to place a six on an arrow like this, because what would this be? It had to be bigger than six. There's no digit bigger than six, because it'd be six plus something, right? I mean, I could do six, one, seven, but there's no sevens in this puzzle, so that's broken. <laughs> anyway, so the only non-arrow uh, cell in here is this circle, which is six here. Um, I guess the next thing to think about is if we take these two arrows together, this is done a lot in arrow puzzles where you combine the arrows together. If we take these together, what's the minimum these four cells can sum to? Well, it's 10 because um, 1, 2, 3, 4 sums to 10, and that's the minimum we could put in here. And so that means these sum to at least 10, but 5, 6 adds to 11. So this adds to 10 or 11. Both 10 and 11, that's 4, 6, or 5, 6, requires a 6. That 6 is going to go there. Nice. And this is four or five. Okay, so now I want to ask where three goes in this box because um, three can't go on a six sum. So none of these are three. So three has to go up here. And that three is going to be joined by a one or a two in order to add to four or five. It's either one, three, or two, three. All right, not too bad so far. I guess I could say that this, what can I say about this? Um, actually, we can do some math for this. So we know that a box adds to 21 because the digits 1 through 6 add to 21, and that's what's in a box. Um, so if we, um, if we think about these cells, these cells must add to 15. And um, these we said add to 10 or 11. So if these add to 10, then this has to be a 5. If these add to 11, then this has to be a 4, which may those make this a 1 or 2. Um, oh, this is an interesting question. Actually, I'm going to give this a color. Let's give this blue. Where does blue go in this box? This is knight's move stuff. There's a lot of powerful knight's move stuff in 6x6 especially, but even in 9x9 it's extremely powerful. So blue can't go in any of these cells because blue um, can't repeat in the column and it can't go, uh, it can't be a knight's move apart. So blue's in one of these two. So let's actually just mark that real quick. But if this was a blue, think about it. Then what, what do you add to blue to get 6? Well, you add this to blue, and we can't repeat this in this box. So blue can't actually go there. So this has to be blue. That's neat. So that places this 3. Um, and so this is, this is the other one too, which I will eventually call orange, I guess, unless we don't need to. But I probably will end up calling it the orange 1, 2, and then the other 4, 5. Um, okay, so we can actually place this 4 or 5 in this box if we can prove it's different than this 4 or 5. And I bet we, we can. Because, yeah, um, I don't know like the cleanest way to explain this, but even if we just case check it, it's pretty obvious. Um, if blue were 1, then 1 plus 3 is 4. So actually, I'm just going to write it out. If blue were 1, 
3 plus 1 is 4, but we have to do 1 plus 5 to get 6, so these are different. The only other option is for blue to be 2, and you'll probably see what's going to happen here. That makes this a 5, but if this is 2, this has to be 4. So there's probably some sort of like more clean like sum reason you can use for that. But anyway, I, I can now assign like purple to here and orange to here, and um, we know these are different. So where does orange go in this box? Well, it's not here, it's not here by knight's move, and purple is proven not orange. So this is the orange 4-5. Now we can call this the... Oh, I don't want to use orange here. I want to use green here. Sorry, I usually do green purple matched up and then orange blue matched up. Sorry for the weird color change, but <laughs> it's going to confuse me. Um, cool, so we know this is the orange one, two. So we know that this is an orange purple pair. We know this is three with blue for what it's worth. Oh, blue doesn't go here, so we can place that. This is the three, this is the blue. Okay, this is moving, moving along. Um, how's blue look? Oh yeah, blue is placed in this box because blue looks down, blue looks over, blue sees that by knight's move. So that's, oops, that's not how we do that. That's blue. Blues look down and in by knight's move, so that's blue. Um, blue is placed here, and I think that's all the blues. We do the same with orange. Yes, so orange in this box is here, and that sees here, so orange has to be here. That sees all of the, ah, that sees all of these, so orange is here. Blue plus orange is three, so we can place the three there. This is going very smoothly. Um, I guess three is in one of these two, let's mark that. Um, Purple and green here, maybe? Let's see. Oh, maybe I can do sixes. Yeah, this six actually peeks into this box on these two, and this six looks down. So that's a six, that's a six. Uh, that's a six, because the knights move. And then that's a six, and sixes are magically done now. Um, what else can I do here? Purple, purple in this box has to go here. That's nice. That make, puts a purple here. That ah, so this this can't be purple. If this was purple, we'd have nowhere to put purple in this box because this sees here by Sudoku and here by Knight's move. So this is not purple, and this purple sees sees all of these. So this is the purple. Um, and so this is the three for the column. I was checking just to see if that was obvious, but I don't think it was. This is three for this box. This is the other 4-5, which is the green one. This is 3. This is the green 4-5. So far looking good, I think. This green 4-5 sees here, so this is the green 4-5. And this is the other one too, which is orange. I think we could have approached this in several ways, but we're getting there. Uh, this is, ah, this is 4-5. This is the green one. Oh, this purple sees here, but th this actually gets resolved, but we might as well finish the coloring. That's not purple, that's not orange. So, because of the knight's move, so or this orange, <laughs> either way, that's four five. This is one two. We can put the purple four five here, and now we finish the puzzle um, because this is odd. <laughs> so four is not odd. So what we can do is we can highlight all the greens and we can fill five into them. We can highlight all the purples and fill four into them, and then now four plus two is six. So all the blues are two, and all the oranges are one, and we're done. Nice. All right, yeah, your typical knight's move coloring puzzle. I think you'll, if you see knight's move, just uh, have your have your color palette ready because <laughs> that's, that's very often the case that you're going to end up uh, just coloring the puzzle and then having something at the end disambiguate. It's a very popular way to set knight's move puzzles. So thanks for demonstrating that, Wushal. I think this was a pretty approachable one. Um, there, there are a few interesting things to deduce at the start, like where's the six go here, the fact that these add to 10 or 11, giving us this 6, this 4, 5, and, and really deducing that this was a 4, 5 pair was pretty neat. So, and once we had that, then we were just off to the races with just coloring everything and doing knight's move. Um, so cool. That was a neat idea. Good execution. Thank you, Wushal. And of course, if you enjoyed this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.